Get going with GOMO, step four. Let's actually add in some content. So I'm going to take one of these, these topics, in this case, topic one, click on it, and it now launches the GOMO editor in a separate tab. And it's put some default content in for me. Here you can see that I have the list of screens on the left, and in this case, just one screen. And in the content area, it's showing me the content blocks. And this is how uh, GOMO gets its multi-device responsive layout through a series of blocks, which are then divided into columns. So I'm just going to edit the text, which is contained in this block. So double click, type in my text. This is where we could also change the actual style associated with the text. And that style, uh, how that's going to appear, will be determined by how those styles are set in the theme. So just click Apply. Let's change this text, so just double click. And I'll just paste my text in there. Click Apply. And I'm just going to delete that text block because I want to add in an image there. So to add in an image or any of the other um, asset types that we have in GOMO, just click on the Assets tab on the left-hand side. And this shows me all the different categories of assets that we can add in. In this case, I want a static image. So I just find the static image and simply drag and drop it into place, in this case, on the right-hand column in this content block. And now I can just double click. Let's browse for a particular image. I'll just use the GOMO logo here. And we can also choose to align that, or I'm going to choose fit to width there. And we'll just change the instruction text, say so select next to continue. So there's our first screen. Let's add in another screen. So I can simply either create a new blank screen or a really quick way to add in screens is using GOMO screen templates. So select add screen from template. And I want to add in a video in here. So I'm going to choose the video template, click once, select it there, click select. And again, we can just add that in. I'm now going to add in some, the, some video. So I've got a video file here. So add that in. And I'm also just going to put in a thumbnail as well. Again, I'll just use the GOMO logo. So that's going to be my, my video screen. Finally, let's add in a question. So again, I'm going to add a screen from template. And now I just scroll down and find the different question templates. So the question type I'm going to choose here is select from list. And now GOMO gives me my template. It also creates for me the pop-up feedback subscreens as well. So all I have to do is just edit the template. So we'll say quiz. And now we'll add in the question. And now I'll just... Uh, put in some options here. So I just, again, double click on the select from list asset here and put in the options. So let's put in options here. So there's our first option and that's going to be correct. And another option that's also correct. So the learner is going to have to select all of the correct answers here to be able to get the actual answer 
marked as being uh, the question marked as correct. So there's another option. And now to add in another option, I just click on add item. So finally, I'll add in multi device. And that's also correct. Click apply. And I can put in an image there. So there's my there's my image. Just delete that instruction text. So I now have three screens in this topic. So that's step four of get going with GOMO.